A quick start guide to drivers, Blender's secret little superpower that lets you do some incredible things. So I've created this little file here just to simplify it all while we're learning because there's three different levels of drivers that go up in complexity. And I think that all of those toggles and switches might be a little bit too much, but don't worry, you can get this as well as the full toggle board over down in the description. It's completely for free. Feel free to follow along with this video. So what do I have here? Well, I've constrained up all of these sliders here so you can only move this in this way. You can only rotate this in this way and you can only rotate this in this way. And the key thing here is that we have our cube here that has some modifiers in it. Now, what exactly is a driver? A driver is sort of a connection between something that is being driven and the driver itself. So what I want is this slider, mainly the X of this slider, to drive a modifier. In this case, I want it to drive the subdivision surface right here. So let's do exactly that. I'm going to go to the value of the X. And most things that can be keyframed can be drivers. So I'm going to right click it. And down here, you'll see copy as new driver. If we leave the mouse here, a little pop up comes up letting you know exactly what's happening. I'm going to copy that driver, I'm going to go to the cube here, and I'm going to go over to the viewport subdivision level here, right click it, and then you'll see paste driver. And I'll paste that right there. It goes immediately purple because it is now being driven by the value set here. And how does this work? We'll take a look. If I press G and start moving this, now it is being driven. And that is basically just rounding up the numbers that come from here. Okay, so that is the quickest and simplest way of doing drivers. And by the way, you can do this to almost anything, be it rotation, be it anything at all. It's crazy. Next up, let's talk about the decimate here. So I want a way to increase and decrease the decimate value. Now, the main thing that I'm going to be rotating here is on the Z. So let's go here, right click and copy as a new driver. Going to go back to our cube here. And this time on the ratio, I'm going to right click and we're going to paste that driver. Now, we do have a little problem here, which is if we rotate this, well, it's only just that little area right up here. And then when we go into the minus area, things go a little bit weird. So let's go into the minus and fix this first. We're going to go back over to this bit that is being driven. I'm going to right click and edit the driver. Okay, now don't get too scared here. Things are very simple in reality. Let me explain. Our wheel this is the thing that we are referencing to. It's going to the path of the rotation, which equates to the Z rotation. And all of this has been given a name, in other words, a variable called rotation right here. I'm just going to call this rotation and remove that bit right there. Okay. Now, right this minute, it's it just averaging the values because you can add more than one variable here. Just click add and you can carry on adding. But I want to keep things pretty simple for now. But what I want to do now is sort of add a little bit of maths to this. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to say none of these, but I want a scripted expression. A scripted expression is basically a tiny little bit of code and this can pop up sometimes. This is just saying, Hey, are you sure you want to be able to do scripts inside of your little drivers? I'm going to say absolutely allow execution. I am fine with that. So now that we have that set, we're going to say we're going to give it an expression. And there are many different types of expressions. And one of them is a function. And the function, by the way, all these functions, you can find out a lot more about it. They're going to be linked down in the description to the wiki. I'm going to go for ABS. ABS stands for absolute number. So I've said, give me the absolute of the rotation. And I want the rotation variable, not this old one that I had here. Here we go. The rotation absolute there. Just to show you what happens if it not with that, it returns back a negative value. But if I tell it to give me an absolute number, so ABS, take a look what's going to happen. It takes off that negative. It means that if it goes into the negatives, it's always going to give me the absolute number. Now, this still technically doesn't fix our problem that it's only in this little area up here. And then it just straight away goes up to one. So we need to sort of divide this up. 
divide that value up across the rotation. So how are we going to do that? Well, let's go back into our edit driver here. And let's add a little something right here. This rotation, what I actually want to do is I want to times it by 0 0.28. Now, that means it's just going to give me 28% of the value of that rotation. And all I've done here is gone 1 divided by 360, which gives you 2... Um, 0 0.27 repeating or 0 0.027 repeating and all I've decided is I'm going to go with 28. Now take a look at what this does. Now we have this being able to go all the way around almost up here. This is quite close to one but now we have a nice little jog wheel like this that lets us control this. Okay so that's one level more of complexity. Now let's talk about how to turn on and off, how to toggle something with a value. So this one here is going to be on the Y, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Yep, it's the Y itself. So if I rotate this, we've got the Y. We already know what we're going to do here. We're going to right click. We're going to copy as new driver. Go back over here. But what are we going to turn on and off? It is the viewport visibility right here. That's right. This can be keyframe. So let's right click it and we're going to paste new driver right there. It has turned it off. I'm going to go right click and edit that driver. Okay, so we're going to do a scripted expression. And here's where things are going to go a little bit more complicated. This is now where we're coding, but it's quite simple. And it's very simple, actually. We're going to say, hey, look, I want you to be on or true if the rotation that's right there is greater than zero okay and else so anything else so if, if it's not greater than zero i want you to be off now that we've set that right there take a look at what we have here we have this lovely thing that is on and then as soon as we go under zero it's off on and off and with that right there you've unlocked the power of drivers this is so incredibly powerful in fact in my course i teach you how to use this for 3d printing offsets to change all of the 3d printing tolerances in one entire file by just one driver it is so incredibly powerful and with that newfound knowledge, you can really create some incredible things that interlink together. Everything from mechanical mechanisms all the way to animations that you would truly never want to keyframe. A huge thank you to my patrons. You guys are absolutely awesome. And without you, I truly would not be able to make Maker Tales. And it means so much to me. A big thank you to my VIP makers, Jem Otskanak and David Fernandez. And of course, if you're enjoying what I'm making here, I would love to see you there too. But that's only if you think I've deserved your support. Thank you for watching. Keep making and let the quest continue.